Now let's take another example in the octahedral complex. We have one complex of iron. Coordination number is 6. Cyanide is the leader in this case. So in exam usually the question comes like this that using valence bond theory how will you explain the weakly paramagnetic behavior of this complex. So I am again mentioning here that to explain any complex using VBT its magnetic behavior should be known. At this stage we should know but once we do the next advanced theory then by knowing the nature of the ligand we can also predict that in this particular case uh, what type of bonding will be there, whether there will be pairing of electrons or there will be electrons will remain unpaired. Fine. Now in this case the oxidation number I have calculated is plus 3. So iron in its ground state that is atomic state the configuration is this atomic number 26 plus 3. So the configuration is 3d5. So it is a case of 3d5. So we have observed that in case of 3d4, 3d5 and 3d6, it depends upon the nature of ligand whether what type of complex will be formed. Fine. Whether such pairing will take place, inner d orbital complex is formed or outer d orbital complex will be formed. Fine. So in this particular case, as it is given that the complex is weakly paramagnetic, fine. So let's see what happens in this case. I have written here configuration of Fe3+, it is uh, 3d5, 4s0 and 4p0. So if we use the outer d orbitals, that is we have here 4d, 5d orbitals of 4d, then if those 6 are getting hybridized to accommodate 6 cyanide ligand, then the complex will have in total 5 unpaired electrons and it will be highly paramagnetic. But it's uh, experimentally observed behavior is weakly paramagnetic. So what, what is to be done according to VBT? We have to pair up these electrons because all these are singly fit so we can pair up. So these two uh, d orbitals, inner d orbitals are made vac vac uh, vacated for the ligands. So see, uh, now these two are vacated but before cyanide donates its electron, all these six orbitals has to get hybridized so that their energy and shape is same. So after hybridization we are getting 6 D2 sp3 hybridized orbital in which all the 6 cyanide ions donate their lone pairs to form 6 metal ligand coordinate bonds. Fine. So this is the explanation according to VBT and overall if we see this is the orbital representation of this complex in which if you see there is only one unpaired electron left. So unpaired electron being one, so the complex will be weakly paramagnetic. Fine. Now let me take another example. Uh, it will be, I am just changing the oxidation, changing the charge of the complex. Suppose another complex ion having charge is 2 minus. Fine. Uh, sorry, it will be uh, minus 4. Fine. Now in this case, we will see that uh, central metal ion is same, the ligand is same, but only the oxidation state of iron will change. It will be plus 2 in this case. Fine. Now, this complex is experimentally found to be diamagnetic. Fine. So we have to explain its diamagnetic nature. So I have calculated its oxidation state as plus 2. This is electronic configuration of iron in its ground state. Now iron in plus 2 oxidation state now this time its configuration will be 3d6. Fine. So that means the electrons in this case will be like this, 3d6 arrangement will be this, fine. Now in this case you have to accommodate 6 cyanide, cyanide ions, so 6 orbitals must be empty, fine. And moreover, if we are using 4d, that means hybridization sp3 d2 outer orbitals are used then 1 2 3 and 4 unpaired electrons will be left and the complex will be paramagnetic fine but it is there we have found it is 
diamagnetic in nature, that means no unpaired electron will be there. Now in this case, all these electrons will get paired up, fine? So as a result, we get such a situation in which the two d orbitals are empty, but others are paired now, right? So these two are empty, 4s is empty, 4p is empty, in total we have 6 empty orbitals, but they are of different energy, so they should get hybridized first before accepting lone pair from the latents, fine? So again we are getting 6 d2 sp, 3 hybridized orbitals, and in all these 6 hybridized orbitals, cyanide ions will uh, donate their lone pairs as a result they form six metal ligand coordinate bonds. So if you observe the overall situation hybridization D2 sp3 it is inner d orbital complex and number of unpaired electron is zero therefore complex is diamagnetic. Fine. So this is how by knowing the magnetic behavior only, we can predict that how electron uh, pairing will take place in such a case, fine. But later on, when we will do some advanced theory like the CFT, we will come to know that uh, this, is, this happens because of nature of ligand also. So, we have observed in the last two examples that only changing the oxidation state of iron, the complete magnetic behavior is changed. The, in, in both the complexes, the center metal was same, that is iron, uh, ligand is also same, coordination number is also same, but the oxidation state of iron is different. In the previous case it was plus 3, in this case it is plus 2, so we have found here that changing the oxidation state, keeping other conditions same, the magnetic behavior of the complex will change, fine. So this is one very important example from examination point of view. Now, I take one more example of uh, complex of iron in which the ligand will be changed, fine. So I take example of uh, a complex of iron in which water is ligand, fine, say in plus 3 oxidation state, fine. So this complex is found to be highly paramagnetic in nature. So we have to explain this fact using VBT, fine. So again <coughs> I am not uh, uh, repeating the things, I have found that oxidation state of iron is uh, plus 3 in this case, so its configuration will be 3D5, uh, five. fine. So its orbital representation for Fe3 ion will be like this. four s four p in our orbital three d one two three four five fine now as the complex is found to be highly paramagnetic so obviously in this case no pairing will take place fine five unpaired electrons are formed so that means in this case outer d orbitals will be used for to accommodate water as a ligand fine so what will be the situation for this complex according to VBT? The bonding representation will be like this. Here, not the inner but the outer 4 d orbitals will be hybridized. Fine. This is the situation here. 1 s, 3 p and 2 d orbital will get hybridized in which 6 water molecules will donate the lone pairs to form six